What's up everyone? It's your girl Weeza and welcome or welcome back to my world. Lush Christmas, she is here guys. It's kind of like a thing on my channel. I always do a big Lush Christmas haul because I love Lush and I love Christmas and it's literally one of my favorite collections that they do all year. I got this big, huge box filled to the brim with goodies. Like honestly, when you take out the packing slip, I have one, two, three pages of goodies and like each one has like eight items on it. So we got a big haul to get through today. There are some returning favorites, things that I always get at Lush Christmas, like Snow Fairy stuff, but there also is some new Snow Fairy stuff. We'll get into that in a sec. And there's a whole bunch of new Lush Christmas stuff that I've never tried before. So let's just get right into it. But before we do, I just quickly wanted to remind you, if you do like hauls and videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. As well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me. We do a lot of hauls, science, makeup videos, beauty videos, and all of that stuff. With that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing everything I got from Lush Christmas this year, then keep watching. So I'm gonna start this haul with one of the things that I am the most excited about, and it is this guy right here. It is the Snow Cake Shower Jelly Stack. Now, I've never really seen anything like this for Lush Christmas. They started coming out with a couple cool things for Halloween and whatnot, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing something like this for Christmas. The super cool thing about this shower jelly is that it comes with three different flavors. So the first one here is marzipan, or almond. The second one here is toffee. And the last one, the purple one here is cherry. This should actually just pop out entirely like a little cake. Oh yes, yes, okay. I'm actually really scared it's gonna fall. Here's the cherry one, the toffee and the marzipan almond. These actually smell so good. You can really smell the toffee and the cherry. You could take these apart, say you wanna use this one time, you wanna use this one time. I would never use this much for one bath. Like that's a lot. You can probably get like four uses, cut this in a quarter and you have that times three. So you can get about 12 showers in my personal opinion out of this. I'm honestly most excited for this toffee one. I love toffee anything and definitely she smells like toffee and the cherry as well, really, really good. I'm gonna put this back in because I'm gonna like put it all over my carpet and she just pops right back in. That was actually really easy. To use this, like I said, you just wet the jelly, rub it all over your body like soap and then wash it off, super easy. I'm super excited about this one, especially since I've like not really used a shower jelly in a really, really long time. The last time I actually used a shower jelly was when I was in Austria and I didn't have any more soap left and there was like a lush down the road. So I went and got like this bunny, bunny jelly soap that they had there. It was actually really, really good. This something that I think would be super fun for a gift. It's something new, conversation piece, stuff like that. So the snow cake shower jelly stack is the first item we got from Lush Christmas this year. Now it wouldn't be a Lush Christmas haul if we didn't stock up on our snow fairy items. And there is some new stuff that I wanna chat about. I'm gonna go with the quick stuff that I know that I love and I know that I use all the time. And this is the fairy dust. It is a beautiful, beautiful pink dusting powder with little flakes of glitter in it. I honestly wish that they came up with like a jumbo size and I would just buy it and use it all year round. This stuff smells like cotton candy, sweet candy, just Oh, so good. I love the smell. You could also use this to kind of freshen up your underwear drawer or your gym bag and stuff like that. Kind of just makes things not smell. But honestly, my favorite way to use this is just throwing it all over my body, a little bit on my neck, on my chest, my legs. Just anytime I need a little bit more love and I want to feel like cute and glittery, I use this guy right here. Then also in the Snow Fairy collection, I picked up the body conditioner. Last year, I picked up the naked version, which is just simply a hard kind of soap-like one. And I didn't really find that I liked that that much because it like melted in the shower. I didn't have proper care for it. I just really like things in pots. This body conditioner has hydrating mango, avocado butters, and even organic cocoa butter to really lock in moisture and keep you nice and hydrated during the winter months. After you're done almost getting out of the shower, rub this all over your body and it kind of acts like a moisturizer. So I love that because I am so dry, especially in the winter. Next, I got this guy and she's wrapped up so nicely. I think this is new. Like I've never seen the Snow Fairy soap, but I could be wrong. When you you open it up this is just gorgeous okay like this is just the prettiest soap you will ever see in your entire life and oh my gosh even on the top it says snow I don't know if you could see that super cute and we have this like little star in there and 
oh, it smells like Snow Fairy. The thing that I do want to mention is that there is rose water in this and rose water is amazing for calming the skin. So I'll definitely be using this guy on days where my skin is super irritated because I do have eczema and some days are better than others. And something new this year is the Snow Fairy Lights bath bomb. This is so cute. I think it will be a perfect gift giving bath bomb. It's a three and one. So you kind of get three bath bombs in one. I would probably just use it as one as like one luxury moment. So you just go ahead and take this cap off. So that is one right here. Then obviously the outer shell is another. Then inside we have these little confettis as they call it. When this guy actually dissolves, it leaves the prettiest color in the water. And I'll put the pictures of the bath bombs and what they look like in the water right here. So you can kind of get like an idea of what happens, like the full experience. Cause I think that's super important when you buy a bath bomb. So the blue obviously blue water, the pink, obviously pink waters, but the inside, when you dissolve them, they're going to be like little fairy lights all over the bath. So you'll get like a whole bunch of different color, like little lights all over the bath. Such a cool experience. And each one also lets go of the plastic free glitter. So you have a nice glittery tub as well. So this little three in one snow fairy bath bomb is so cute. I absolutely love it. And it's like my glittery snow fairy sparkly dream come true. Next up, we have the polar bear soap and this comes back every year, but they kind of just change the shape of the bear. He's super cute and cuddly. Like I just want to give him a hug. And this guy smells like cherries and almonds. Like that's the vibe I get. This guy here is packed with oat milk, coconut, and soy yogurts, as well as Rose Absolute. The reason why I always purchase these polar bear soaps is because they're so hydrating and they feel so nice on sensitive skin. This is also something that I would use when my skin is very dehydrated and I need like a little hug, a little polar bear hug. I just go ahead and use this guy and it makes my skin feel so soft and nourished even after I get out of the shower. Another new item is this lip scrub. It is the Golden Pineapple and guys, this smells amazing. It's like a toffee pineapple scent. Like it's so sweet, kind of caramelly. It is so good. I love Lush lip scrubs. They're so good. They exfoliate so well. You literally need a pea size amount and you can just take off everything on your lips. It, it's amazing. This particular lip scrub is made with golden castor sugar and jojoba oil. And this one also has ginger absolute in it, which kind of slightly warms up your lips and really gets the blood flowing. Something I actually didn't know before purchasing this product is that there's pineapple powder in here and that actually works as an enzymatic exfoliator. So kind of like a chemical exfoliator for your lips to really slough off those dead skin cells and get them feeling nice and smooth. I like to keep these in the shower because they're nice and locked and loaded and they're not gonna obviously dissolve. So this guy will just go right into my shower after this video. This is not Lush Christmas, but this is my favorite item ever from Lush. It is the scrubby, it smells like a toffee coconut shea butter dream. It's my absolute favorite product from Lush. So every time I put an order through Lush, I always just grab a few. It gives you the closest shave, makes you smell so good. And I'm literally so hydrated after I use this. This is my favorite product my favorite smell. Like if I could bottle this smell up in like a perfume and wear it every day, I would. Another new item this year is this guy right here. Now this is gonna allow me to finally live my lush fantasy dreams. And that is having a gold body scrub. This is called the golden pear body scrub. It's not like an annoying pear smell. It's actually really nice and like fruity and it has like like a hint of warmth to it. This body scrub uses fine and coarse sea salts, which act as natural exfoliators while also including cocoa butter to make your skin nice and hydrated. The other really cool thing with this is that there's popping candy inside of it. So when you use it, it will start popping kind of like pop rocks on your skin. We got shower bombs. And if you know me, I am obsessed with shower bombs. This one is actually a returning one, the Rudolph's nose, but this guy right here, the Silver Bells one is new this year. Let's dive into the one that we already know. And this is Rudolph's nose. Here's what Rudolph's nose look like. It is like a beautiful glittery cherry bomb. Also has Sicilian lemon and sweet almond oils to really help that cherry scent pop. And if you've never heard of shower bombs before, how you use them is you simply go into the shower, put this on your palm and let some water run on top. It will start to foam up and suds up and you just take those suds and rub them all over your body and bam, there you go. Then we have this one here called Silver Bells and this one is super unique. Nothing like I've ever smelled before. It's definitely not sweet. So if you're not a sweet person you like a bit more stronger smells like it's spicy yet floral and the reason why this smells very kind of spicy florally is because it used neroli oil which is exactly that very kind of fresh outdoorsy kind of smell and they also 
added a bit of clove just to kind of get that spice right so it's not too powerful and in your face. This spicy floral fragrance shower bomb uses neroli, clary sage, and clove bud oils. And I just love like the shimmer and the glitter this one has. So when you're in the shower, you get like that glitter experience as well. On the Lush website, they actually have a really good image of how this works. So if you didn't understand how I explained the Rudolph's nose ones, here's the images. So when you add water to it, it starts to foam up a little bit and get more foamy and more foamy. And then you can use that foam to kind of put all over your body and wash your body. They're obviously just one-time use kind of guys, but I love adding these guys to gifts, giving it a little bit extra over the top. Next, we got a few bubble bars. So the first one that I got is this one here. It's called Cinnamon Roll. And these are actually really nice because you can get multiple uses out of them. Just break them up, run them underwater, and then you get a whole bunch of bubbles in the bath. They're super fun. This one literally smells like a cinnamon bun. Like, it's so good, but it's kind of like a spicy cinnamon bun, if that makes any sense. It has clove and patchouli oils, which really kind of give it that extra spice. The purple outer layers are a spicy concoction of clove and cinnamon, while the golden layers contain lime and patchouli oils to really balance out the spice. So when you use this guy in the water, you'll find that you'll get like this rosy kind of wine color water mixed with this gold shimmery water, which gives such a pretty color to the bath. The smell alone is just so unique. If you're definitely like spicy scents and you love cinnamon this will be 100% for you but if you're not into very spicy scents and you're more of a sweet kind of girl then go with the snow fairy bubble bar they also have that as well the next bubble bar situation that we have is called the north pole bubble bar this guy's actually a two-in-one so on the top we have a bath oil and then the bottom we have a bubble bar the bath oil is made out of cocoa butter while the bubble bar is made out of brazilian orange clove bud and divina oil so you can just take the bottom part you separate them and then you just crumble this guy underwater let the bubbles go and then dip this guy in the water let it dissolve and then you have a bath oil to really hydrate and nourish the skin when you smell this guy you're getting kind of like a sweet and spicy moment you kind of get orange and clove it's actually really uplifting i really like the smell because it's not too spicy but it's not too sweet either so i honestly think that everyone's gonna like this one because it's right in the middle of kind of scents like not too spicy not too sweet just right kind of thing so the fact that you get a bath oil and a bubble bar all together in one is just so amazing all of the rest of the items i got are bath bombs so i'm gonna kind of show you them what they look like in the water the kind of moment they're gonna give and the smell and kind of just go through them rapid fire because i can't really show too much about bath bombs in my personal opinion and i kind of went a little little bit crazy. I got ones that I think that I really would like. I tend to not get a lot of bath bombs because I have a shower, but I have access to a bathtub. I'll go to my parents' house. I've been working out a lot and I need that like I need that love. A little self-care moment never hurt nobody. So let's just get on with the first bath bomb and it is another gift bath bomb. You get three bath bombs in one and the cute thing is that they're little mini guys. So they're honestly just like the perfect size for a bath. You get a little baby butter bear, which is exactly like the butter bear bath bomb. Then you get a little Santa Claus, which is actually snow fairy scented. Then you get the sleigh itself, which smells like another one of their bath bombs, which is in their regular collection called the comforter. And it's kind of like a bear scent. This bath bomb also has popping candy inside so you'll get a little bit of cracking fun when they dissolve in the water and obviously the water will be the color of the bath bomb so white red and yellow you can see right here this is actually more like a bath bomb set because you do get three in one so this is cute really innovative and again something new from lush this year which i really really like next i picked up the butter bear bath bomb and this year it's like a pink purple shade this is something new it's usually always white and they always change the bear up so that is what the bear looks like this year he's super cute made with cocoa butter as well as a hint of synthetic musk to give you that bold aroma they actually do make this scent all year round in a bath bomb just like a a circle but for Christmas time they like to make it fun and turn it into a cute little bear and another thing about this bath bomb that I just want to kind of mention it's one of my favorites and I find that when I use this one the scent actually stays on my body for like a while like I can still smell it after I get out of the shower and I think it is because it uses that musk it's a very strong aroma but it's like balanced out by the cocoa butter it's just it's so nice I love it the next bath bomb we have is this guy here called the sleepy bear if you are familiar with lush they have a whole line called the sleepy line and it's lavender 
lavender scented, really kind of soothing, gives you kind of a perfect night's sleep. I like to use any of their sleepy stuff just before I go to bed and honestly, she works wonders. This sweet little bear is packed with cocoa butter, sweet lavender, tonka, and ylang ylang to help you unwind and relax. It even has these like little lavender bits in it. So when it dissolves in water, it gives you a beautiful kind of cloudy water, but you get these like little lavender flowers in the water as well. It kind of gives you that aesthetic little moment that you need when you have a bath. And honestly, I love how the bear is sleeping. Like he's literally sleeping too with you. This may be my favorite bath bomb out of all of them. Look how cute it is. It's like a little carriage and she smells like strawberry, like just strawberry Christmas. I love the little carriage. It has gold on it. So the water will be a beautiful pink gold shimmer. Oh, so beautiful. This bath bomb is sweet strawberry scented and also has a little bit of lemon oil and tonka absolute to really help balance everything out. This also has something called soybean flour in it, which really helps soften up the water and kind of just hug your skin and make you feel very nourished and very like soft after you get out of the water. Okay, another really cool bath bomb. I know I said that about the last ones, but this one is actually super cool. It's called the golden pudding bath bomb. This bath bomb is packed with sweet wild orange, wine and lime oils for a mood boosting scent. She may look gold and white, but when you dissolve her, she comes yellow, pink, and orange. So you get a whole like experience in the bath. I remember from years past, they used to have like this other bath bomb. I think it was called Golden Wonder or something like that. It looked like a present. And that was literally one of my favorite bath bombs and they didn't have it this year. Instead, they replaced it with this guy. So it's kind of like a level up. The smell is similar. It's like a warm citrusy scent. You get like orange, you get lime, but it's kind of warm. There's like a layer of warmth around it. Next bath bomb is this guy right here. It's called Snowball and she may not look very appealing, but when she dissolves, she leaves a beautiful blue color in the water that you don't expect. And it smells so good. This is like a mint eucalyptus moment. And I see myself using this on the days that I have a very hard leg day and I need all of the soothing in the world just to relax my muscles and keep me going. It actually smells like one of their soaps that they have in house. And if you are familiar with Lush, it's called the Outback Mate Soap. And it is very kind of strong bodied, musky and like eucalyptus-y minty. Really, really pretty soap, by the way. I highly recommend that as well if, if you do like the Lush soaps. And it's like a snowball, come on. What's more Christmas? What's more winter than that? Two more bath bombs to go and then we're all done. So let's go ahead and start with this orange one. So I am obsessed with the orange body scrub from Lush. It used to be a Christmas item. It's now on their permanent line. This is literally just a bath bomb version of that scrub. So I needed it in my life. It smells so good, just like orange, pop in your life in your tub. This bath bomb has Sicilian red mandarin, tangerine, bergamot, and Brazilian orange oils to really give you a sweet, spicy, yet juicy experience in the bath. This bath bomb also has the popping candy in it. So when it goes into the water and starts popping, it will be like a party in there. And then inside here, we also have some red pigments, which when it dissolves, you'll see a swirl of orange and red in the water. Perfect for a morning bath to lift your mood, get you feeling good, get your day going. And the last bath bomb the last item we got is mr jingle bells right here so when you shake her there is a little salt crystals in here that are blue. So when it dissolves, you'll get like a white milky water mixed with the pink mixed with the blue. This bath bomb is packed with grapefruit, ylang ylang and lemon myrtle oils to give you a citrusy scent to help lift and awaken your senses. This guy smells super citrusy, very lemony mixed with grapefruit. And there's also some ylang ylang in there. This one is also based off another soap that Lush has called the Baked Alaska Soap, which if you've ever seen that soap, it is so beautiful to look at. But honestly, my favorite part about this bath bomb is the fact that it actually makes a noise when you shake it, like Jingle Bells, such a cute little name. And it's so cute, this little bow on it. That is this video complete. That is everything we got from Lush Christmas this year. Let me know in the comments what you guys liked the most, what you're gonna be picking up, what was the coolest item that you saw in this haul and what would make you so excited. For myself, I honestly don't know what I'm the most excited about. There was just so much new this year, which honestly makes me so happy. I love trying new things, but that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.